Hello world, welcome back to another CTF guide write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the programming challenge Fibonacci. Let's get into it. The Fibonacci sequence is a mathematical number series in which each number is obtained by adding its two preceding numbers, starting at zero. The sequence would go as follows, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, to infinity. Build a program that finds the 20th number in the Fibonacci sequence. All right, as you can see here in the little sequence they give us, if we skip the first two values here, we can see that one is the sum of one and zero. It's two preceding values. Two is the sum of one and one. Three is the sum of two and one. Five is the sum of three and two, and so on and so forth. And that's essentially how the Fibonacci algorithm works. So we just need to mimic that algorithm in a script and then print out whatever the 20th value will be. That being said, I have a 50.py script already created for us. So what we're going to do is start off with an array, or a list rather, of our first two base cases. We know that the first two numbers in the Fibonacci sequence will be 0 and 1. And in order for our loop that we're going to write for our algorithm to work, we have to have the two previous values already defined, at least the first two values. That way we don't go outside the bounds of the list itself. And you'll see what I mean here in just a second. So now we're going to write a for loop for i in range of, and we're going to start at 2 since we already have the first two indices, so we don't need those, and 20 because we want to get the 20th index. It's actually 19 here because it's one less, but remember it's 0 to 19, so 19 will be the 20th index. Then we'll do fibo.insert. And what this is going to do is the first parameter of the insert function is going to identify where we want to insert whatever value we're going to insert at whatever index we want. So we're going to do our current index or whatever i is in whatever iteration we're on. And then we're going to do FIBO at i minus 1 plus FIBO at i minus 2. Because what that's going to call is, let's say i is 2. Well, it's going to say, hey, add 5 at i minus 1, which is 1, plus 5 at i minus 2, which is 0, which would be 1. So it's going to insert at our second index, 1. Then after the for loop, we'll just go ahead and print the whole 5 list, because it doesn't matter if we print just the 20th index. We might as well see what the whole list looks like. We know that the final number in the list is going to be the 20th index, which is the answer to this challenge. We'll run that. And our 20th index ends up being 4181. So we'll copy that, paste it in, and submit. It said 4181 is not correct, so that means that we don't have the right indice. It's quite possible it's not counting 0 as the first number of the Fibonacci sequence. Sometimes they don't. So what I'm going to do is add an extra indice here, and we will run that. So excluding 0 as a number in the Fibonacci sequence, we see that our 20th number will be 6765. So let's try that instead. And we'll submit that. All right. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.